Merry Christmas. Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome to the Vlogmas Day 4 on you, mother. I don't feel like doing my little rap, but it's Vlogmas Day 4. I'm about to go to work. I um woke up late. I didn't set an alarm first off. I got up at 10 30. I had to be to work at 12 o'clock. So I had to throw this damn face on my any type of way. It don't look bad. Alright y'all, so I made it to work. It is 11.43. I found the spot. Um, my manager calls me like, oh, you supposed to be here at 10.30. Now I know I look dead at this schedule and I was not supposed to be here at 10.30. So, she like, hey, you supposed to be here at 10.30 today. So I'm like, I could have sworn I looked at my schedule and it was 12 to 6. But somebody told me that they'll change the schedule up on you and then try to call you like you late. Like, I don't like that. I'm like, first, I didn't believe them. I'm like, okay, maybe... Maybe they don't really do that. You know what I'm saying? You know how you just can't believe it. Like, no, nah, they don't really do that. Girl, bye. Now, I know I was telling folks and everything, like, oh, I gotta go to work at 12 tomorrow. So I know I don't never like look at my schedule wrong or incorrectly and be like, no. Heck, you know. I remember when I worked at Carmax, they tried to, um, he had, they had made my schedule, but I had printed it out and they changed it last minute. They ain't gonna try to get me to stay over and have an attitude all with me. I'm like, uh uh. If my schedule said one thing when I looked at it, that's what it is. Period. It's something else I had to tell y'all, but I cannot remember what the heck it was. I can't remember for nothing. Y'all don't remember. I'm a little hungry. I can't, I've been wanting some coffee for the last like four days. I was about to tell y'all, so when I be like late to work and stuff, I do not, like I cannot, um, I don't rush to get to work because when I was like 19, 20, I used to work at Subway and I was like rushing. I think I was going like 90 in a 50 or some shit like that. And I got pulled over and I got a reckless driving ticket. I had to pay all this money and they were trying to take my license. And when they tried to take my license, I had to do a, um, I had to do this like conference call with this lady at the Capitol. I had to do a conference call with this lady at the Capitol and she was like, you were running late to work, and if you would have missed 30 minutes of work, how much money would you have missed out on? And it was like, it had to be damn near $4. And she was like, what if you would have hit somebody? What if you would have got into an accident? What if you would have killed yourself? So ever since then, if I'm late to work, I'm just late. I'm not about to be rushing. I'm not about to do none of that, because it don't make sense. Especially, think about half of what your salary is. So if you make like $13, what you missing out on, like $6 or some change? Girl, girl, if you late, you late, shit. I take my precious time. I'm not finna be rushing. I'm not finna be running. I'm not about to do none of that. It's just too much. All right, y'all. So I'll talk to y'all um, when I go on my break. I don't even know if I have a break. It's only like six hours. I may have like a 30 minute, but I'll talk to y'all in a minute. All right, y'all. When I tell you work is getting on my nerves, like the people getting on my nerves, but I'm about to go to get, excuse me. I'm about to go get some, um, a chicken sandwich. I had a chicken sandwich from Hops like the other day and it was just so delicious, bro. It was so good. So that's what I'm about to eat. And I only get 30 minutes because I came to work late. <laughs> Allegedly, I came to work late, but I'm about to look at my little, my little um, thing and see if I'm supposed to be here at 10.30 or 12. Cause I know it's at 12. But I'll show y'all my food. I'm not doing too much in other today. I just gotta go to work. Well, I'm just at work. And I get off at six o'clock. I'm not doing shit when I get off, so. This, this is what I was talking about when I was talking about what I was talking about. <laughs> Look, though, the one can't cut with the two cuts. Uh huh. Girl, I had to tell my Snapchat about this. I was like, uh -huh. girl. Hey, y'all. So, y'all saw that K cup sign that I was trying to tell y'all about? I'm like, that K cup sign be blowing me every time. I want to take it off and throw it in the trash. I just want to. But I'm leaving work now. I'm about to go home. I want some gelato so bad, but I bought ice cream yesterday. I bought like the gelato from the grocery store, the Talente. I don't know how you say it. And I just had whipped cream at home, so I'm probably gonna eat that when I get home. That's what I bought last night. I'm like, I don't need to spend no extra money. But the gelato just be so good, bro. But I was like, nope, I already bought ice cream. So I'm probably about to end this vlog now. I don't know if I have a lot. I don't know. Oh, let me tell y'all what happened at work. So we at work, whatever. I told y'all, if you watch the Makeup Monday video for tomorrow, which is gonna be today, actually. So when you see this, it'll be Monday. Um, but a Makeup Monday video came out today. And I was talking about this girl at work that got so upset. 
auntie that got so upset because um she didn't have what did she get mad about she got mad because she didn't have any hours why can't i go can i go i think so she got mad because she didn't um oh shit because they hire other people i'm about to get hit y'all she got mad because they hired other people or something. I can't remember the exact story now that I'm, I don't know, I just had a brain fart. But anyway, so she got mad. So today, like they'll cut your hours at my job if you, they'll cut your hours sometimes. So I don't think they put her on the schedule. And I don't know if word got back that she had an attitude or what the case was, but today she calls and she's like, oh, um, she calls and she asks, why she doesn't have any hours and does that mean that she got fired and she not coming back or whatever but my thing is if y'all would have seen like how she was acting when she when she was mad the other day i, I just be so confused because i feel like you done gave all your energy and to being like oh i want to quit this job i don't like it da, da, da. but as soon as they cut your hours you want to get mad or feel like oh y'all trying to fire me what sense would that make she just seems so confused to me. But I feel like that's how I was when I was younger. Like I was real high headed like that. But now, girl, bye. I'm not put, about to put the energy, nor the time, nor the work into dealing with shit like that. Like now you look like you desperate cause you calling and you like, oh y'all trying to, oh my God. So what y'all trying to do, fire me? What's going on? And she has a whole nother job. Like people really need to just take a step back and figure out what it is that they got going. Because that shit is unhealthy. You're giving all that energy to stuff that don't matter. Saying one thing and meaning another. Like, mean what you say and stick to it. It's annoying. It's so annoying. But I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog now. This is probably going to be a short one. But I love y'all so much. Thank y'all so much for tuning in to my channel. Hey, Lowe's. So, I was just editing the vlog. And it's only seven minutes. So, I was like, let me get on here and talk to them. So... I don't know what we gonna talk about. I need to decide. Um, I'm eating some ice cream. This is the ice cream I have. Talente is caramel cookie crumble. It's so good, bro. It has like caramel and cookie crumbles in here and it's vanilla ice cream. It's just so good. But I was trying to debate. So I'm sitting here. I was looking up um, Pinterest. I was looking up like hairstyles that I want to get my hair and it's in between box braids and faux locks some of y'all asked me on my um live like was I gonna do faux locks and I said yeah but I don't think I ain't gonna do faux locks because even with the box braids I don't like like my edges was coming out with the box braids because she did she did they wasn't tight but you know just with braids in general you got to be cautious and you got to like take that part out and I can't afford that so we're just gonna do the um dreads I'm gonna make a formal video just about the hair challenge in general so you all can know like what what I'm doing exactly. If you wanna do it, if you don't wanna buy the hair vitamins from me, which I suggest that you do because they are bomb as fuck. But if you wanna use your own hair vitamins, you can do that too. We're gonna do the challenge together. It will start January 1st. So we gotta get ourselves together. Yeah, and y'all need to be in my DM or emailing me so we can go ahead. You got 30 days to get your money together. Okay? And yeah, tomorrow I don't have to work. I'm so happy I got the day off. I'm going to film, like, my makeup look. I don't know if I'm going to have a vlog for Tuesday because I'm probably not going to go do nothing. It just really depends. I just have to wait and see. I think I kind of want to go to the movies tomorrow or something. Tomorrow's Tuesday. I think they have $5 movies by my house. That's my niece if she want to go. I'm just kind of annoyed because... I was telling y'all on the, on the last clip that, you know, I was annoyed just in general. But I hate for somebody to try to be like, try to act like my feelings don't matter about something. Like, if I feel, I don't know, and I feel like sometimes you got to watch out for people that are like that. Especially, like, in relationships. Like, don't act like how I feel about something doesn't matter. You know, like, I think it's very important for whoever you're with. Damn, tomorrow ain't Tuesday, tomorrow Monday. I don't know why I feel like today is Sunday. I mean, Tuesday. I mean, Monday. But anyway, my niece said it's on Tuesday. They had to fight all the movies. But, um, 
I think it's really important for you to be able to sympathize with people. Even if you don't understand or I don't know. It just fucked up when you are trying to express yourself to somebody and you're like, I feel this type of way. When you do this, it makes me feel like this and they're just like, that's dumb or you trying to argue with me. I don't know. I just be feeling... Loving people is just hard. Like, bro. Sometimes you make you second guess yourself. Like, why do I even care about this person? Or why did I even care about... Where? Why did I even care about them? Or... It's annoying, bro. It's annoying, man. I don't know, like, I wish I could really go into depth and tell y'all everything that's going on and all that, but I don't feel comfortable doing that. Like, I'm sure, I love y'all, but I can't even do it. <laughs> but I just, I don't know, like, you feel like when you love somebody or something, you, when you be younger, you be feeling like love can conquer all and I can do this, you know what I'm saying? And if the person loved me, then this should work out like this. But if that person is not on the same page as you, it just makes that shit ten times harder, bro. It makes it so much harder to communicate. It makes it so much harder for them to understand. Um, miscommunication can take shit the wrong way. It's just fucked up. So fucked up. I think I'm about to buy me a gold ring. I told y'all on, on the second vlog that I want to buy me a gold ring for my nose. I'm about to buy one now. All right, y'all. So I'm about to go ahead and go now. <laughs> I'm just talking, just talking, talking, talking. I will talk to y'all tomorrow. I love y'all so much. Thank y'all for watching my channel. Mwah. Bye, guys.